What's going on guys, Gabe here with the View Dork and today we're gonna to talk about how much RAM do you actually need in 2021? Well, let's start with the kind of RAM that most of us are familiar with, the main system memory living inside your desktop or laptop PC. Now, those are these little sticks uh, on the motherboard known as RAM or specifically DRAM or Dynamic Random Access Memory and they are a cheap way to boost your PC's performance. What you guys see here are 32 gig RAM sticks by Crucial and uh, they have like the cool LED thing going on here. Ballistics. Pretty cool. Anyway. Laptop notebook memory modules of the DDR4 variety use 260 pin SODOMs, also known as small outline dual inline memory modules, but don't be confused. Those are also RAM sticks. Currently, you will find a lot of budget laptops such as the HP Stream and even Chromebooks configured with just four gigs of RAM. Now we won't get into how Android or even Apple handles RAM since our focus will be on Windows-based laptops and desktops. Mid-range Windows-based machines often have eight gigabytes of RAM and this is normally the sweet spot for most consumers and this is where you will be shopping at since these machines are normally in the $500 to $800 price range. But let's say you want to upgrade to 16 gigs of RAM on your desktop Check out the Corsair Vengeance 16 gig kit with 3200 clock and for less than 80 bucks, you got a pretty significant upgrade and links down in the description. Now laptops that are user serviceable with two 260 pin SODOM slots can benefit from Crucial Ballistic 16 gig 3200 clock DDR4 laptop gaming memory. And I'll also include a link uh, in the description to that kit. But here's a tip guys. Unless you are considering a Chromebook, which can run amazingly well on just four gigs of RAM, I would advise anyone looking into a Windows-based machine not to go less than eight gigs of RAM. And here's why. Two gigabytes of RAM is the minimum system requirement for the 64-bit version of Windows. And even at idle, Windows can use anywhere from one to three gigs of RAM. And even Google Chrome can gobble up RAM like a blue whale. Fun fact, blue whales can eat up to four tons of plankton a day. I'm not a marine biologist, I'm just a dork. Anyways, in our test, booting up Chrome on our desktop, visiting YouTube, that would mean opening multiple tabs on a four gig machine would probably cue the Jeopardy theme song while you jump from web page to web page. So if you're just planning basic productivity like uh, data entry, emails, web browsing, or even watching YouTube, eight gigs of RAM should be your bare minimum. Trust me. <laughs> you will thank me later. And what about gamers? Because gamers seem to be in a league of their own. Now, how much memory should gamers opt for? Well, the general consensus is you should have no less than 16 gigs of RAM. In fact, many AAA titles recommend at least 16 gigs of RAM. And sure, you can probably get away with 8 gigs of RAM, but good luck running anything else. You see, with AAA titles, the recommendation takes into account RAM usage by the game itself, plus assuring you have enough overhead so Windows remains stable. And with that being said, you also have to remember that Windows will also allocate RAM for itself and your background services may also be using some RAM. And background services have a sneaky way of just like adding up. When it comes to games themselves, we see Microsoft Flight Simulator, and Gears 5 at 1080p resolution, medium quality, peaked at 5 gigs of RAM. Forza Horizon 4 used up to 6 gigs of memory, running at 1080p, medium settings, and 120 hertz. So as you can see, for gamers, 16 gigs is the sweet spot, leaving you additional RAM to do things like stream or recorded content and keep your Windows environment happy. So how about YouTubers like myself? 3D modelers, photo editors with large photo sets, scientists, cat designers, well, this is where 32 gigs of RAM makes sense. In my personal experience, exporting 4K video on Premiere Pro alone can come with nearly a 20 gig tax on the RAM. And if you're thinking about editing in 8K, well, the RAM requirement goes up to 64 gigs of RAM. Now, we're not gonna get into single channel or dual channel, but 
If you would like an explainer video, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, leave a comment down below. And uh, yeah, we're just really trying to do this video series in layman's terms so that you as a consumer don't overspend and get a laptop or a desktop that you actually need. Because you know, it's, it's very easy to get caught up in 32 gigs of RAM. That's what this stick is. But if I only bought one stick, I'm in single channel. I would need two sticks of 32 gigs of RAM to be in dual channel. And again, we'll talk about that in our next video. We just need a handful of likes to make it worth my time, make it worth your time. For most people, eight gigs of RAM is all you need in 2021. For gamers, 16 gigs of RAM is more than enough. And 32 gigs of RAM is more than likely overkill unless you are involved in photo, video editing, content creation, or working with some serious data sets like calculating the probability of extraterrestrial life. If you're considering an upgrade, well, thankfully RAM is cheap. Just check out the links in the description. And as for VRAM, well, that's another video. This is Gabe with the View Door. Hope you learned something. I'm signing out. Save yourself some money. Don't get caught up on a build a laptop site like Dell or HP where you're getting charged. Arm, play, unborn child, and possibly your future just for an extra 8 gigs of RAM. 16 gigs of RAM should be the new standard. I really think that manufacturers should just. 16 gigs of RAM be done. Let's not confuse the consumer base. But now that you're not confused, you can head on over to Amazon, Best Buy, and get a laptop or a desktop you actually need. This is Gabe with Papi Dork. I'm signing out. Peace.